Microsoft has just released seven new features for Planner, simplifying the Planner experience. So let's check it out. Number one is the new Planner for the Web app. So from any of your 365 apps, you can go to the app launcher and then locate Planner. And here you will see that there is a new web experience. The new Planner was rolled out in Microsoft Teams in April of 2024. And now we have a harmonized Planner experience across the web app. Just note that this has only been rolled out to targeted release customers. And if you are familiar with the new Planner app as you've already been using it in Microsoft Teams, then feel free to skip ahead to tip number three at this time here. Otherwise, tip number two is how we have a harmonized task management experience, bringing together all of your tasks from Microsoft To Do, Planner, Loop, and Project into one easy to navigate dashboard. So let's take a quick look around. Doing a side-by-side -side comparison with Microsoft To Do, we can see that my day is an identical experience and we can easily add new tasks at the speed of thought. And when we expand these task cards, then we are in that familiar task card from Planner. I'll just close out of here. And as we mark through these tasks, you will see that they seamlessly integrate across both apps. And there's also this little handy summary at the top that cheers you on throughout the day. Moving on to my tasks, we have some predefined filters at the top that are aligned with Microsoft To Do. So we have private tasks that are actually your tasks. And then we have assigned to me and your flagged emails, which is the same experience in Microsoft To Do. So you can see here that you can manage all of your Microsoft to do tasks within the new planner app. Moving along to my plans, which harmonizes all of your tasks and plans from the original planner, Microsoft project, which is now the planner premium and loop. So under my plans, we have some predefined filters at the top here, which allow you to easily sort through and filter your plans even by teams where you can expand the team to see the plans associated with it. But one area that I find particularly helpful is this little search icon. So if we search for pet wash, then we can easily narrow down the search for our plans. We open up this basic one, then you will see that we have a very similar planner plan with a grid view, board view, schedule and chart view for managing your plan. Then on the left navigation here, we even have our pin plans. So if I go to this pet wash premium, then this will bring us to a Microsoft project plan. With these premium plans, if you are interested in using them, then you can check it out with a one month free trial completely for free. You can get tasks as well as task dependencies. And one thing that is particularly helpful with Planner Premium is this timeline view, which shows your plan in a Gantt chart layout and highlights task dependencies, which is another huge benefit to Planner Premium. We also have that board view as well as the chart view, but some other views that are unique to Planner Premium are the people view, the goals and assignments. I have done a whole other video on five stages for managing your planner premium plans. And I'll link that below in the description for you to check out later. Now that we've taken a look at our plans, we can go to the bottom and go new plan. And these are some predefined templates to get you started, whether you're using just a basic plan or a premium plan. I use these templates for the pet wash basic as well as the pet wash premium plan. So you have already seen these in action. Number three is an improved loop plan experience. So here we are in Microsoft loop. And if we press forward slash, then we can add a task list. So I'm going to put Mike in charge of the coffee kiosk and the due date will be the 24th. And these task lists are identical to the tasks that are added to the meeting notes at the bottom of your team's meeting pages. So let's now go into Mike's planner and see what this looks like. So here we are in Mike's planner and those tasks from loop task list will always appear under the my tasks area. 
You will find it under all, we can see it right there, but to filter it out easily, it will be under the assigned to me area. So if we expand this task card, then we've always been able to view this from here, but it has been difficult to get back to the Microsoft loop plan to see the whole picture. But a new feature is the ability to select the plan name, and then we are redirected to the whole plan here. And in addition to that, if he wants to get back to the whole loop page, then he can select the plan name from the drop down, and we will see that this plan is linked to the pumpkin patch Microsoft loop page. Now I've received a lot of questions from viewers just like you about how to view the progress of a plan if you are the assigner and not assigned any tasks. And honestly, the best thing to do in that instance is to assign yourself a task and it could easily just be review the plan and then you can add yourself and then just select the due date and you could put it to every Friday, for example, and then every Friday you can continue to push that review date until the plan is complete. This will ensure that the plan shows up under the assigned to me in your planner. And just to complete this loop experience full circle, from this upper right hand corner, if we open this in planner, then we will be redirected to the whole plan in the new planner web app. Number four is an improved link to the SharePoint group. So here we are in this pet wash basic plan and we can see that it is part of the Vancouver flagship location group. And similar to Microsoft Loop, from the drop down, we can see that this plan is linked. So if we open up this Vancouver flagship location, then we are going to be redirected to the SharePoint site for this group, allowing you easy access to other items within that group, such as document libraries, Number five is that we can now manage general planner notifications from the new planner app. So if we go up to this gear icon and then select notifications, then these are some notifications that you can update for your own personal preferences, such as when someone assigns a task to you, or if a task assigned to you is late, due today, or in the past seven days, and if someone adds you to a premium plan or a roadmap. I know that notifications are a hot topic, so if you do want to learn more, then you can follow this link here. Just note that those notification settings that we just looked at are for your own personal settings, whereas a team owner can also update specific settings at the plan level. And if you are using Planner in Microsoft Teams, then there are some additional settings specific to Teams too. Number six is improvements to grid view when you are managing a plan. And here we are under a basic plan in the grid view, and you will notice a new column which shows your labels. The labels has always been available in plans, but we are now able to see them in the grid view, which also allows for easy updating. So if we click in the add label, then we can select the different labels we want to add to these tasks, allowing you to easily allocate and visualize your plans. And if you are enjoying this video, then please give it a thumbs up as it really helps me create more content for you. In addition to these labels, we can also resize the columns in the grid view. So you can expand your tasks area like this and even expand other columns just to make everything fit better. And if you are using Planner Premium, then under the grid view as well, you will once again see that thumbs up column but if we select this little carrot, then you have the option to hide that column to customize the view further. Number seven is how we can view our completed tasks. And I have received so many questions on this and it has changed. So I wanted to ensure that I included this here for you. So here we are under my tasks and we are in the all filter. And you'll notice that these are just my in progress or not started tasks. So how do we get to completed? There used to be a separate filter at the top here to view your completed tasks, but now we can go through filters and then here under progress, you can just adjust the filters as you wish to just see your completed tasks. And another thing to note here is that these filters are persistent. So whatever you leave them at is going to be the new view when you open up planner next time. To see my full tutorial on the new Planner app and how it harmonizes your task management across all apps, then check out this video here. 
Otherwise, you can see my planner playlist for other tutorials on planner premium or planner tips.